So today we will going to discuss the genesis and the production of the different blood cells in the body. So this genesis start from the cell lineage that are of two type that is the history of a cell through which it goes and develop into a mature cell. This cell lineage can be of two type starting from the pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell that is a pluripotent stem cell that is present in the bone marrow at the time of birth and in the adult stage when the genesis of the blood cell start this pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell is present simply in the bone marrow as one cell the other series of the cell that is present in the bone marrow is the lymphocytic stem cell these lymphocytes that are before they are lymphoid cells, these are also the precursors of the lymphocyte, while that of the pluripotent hemopoietic stem cells are the precursor of the different type of the blood cells except the lymphocytes. Now coming to how the cell grow throughout different stages. This was the general term that we, we will use in this video. So starting from a stem cell that we have discussed is the pluripotent stem cell or it can be a lymphocytic stem cell. After the stem cell, the stem cell is converted into a blastocyte that we will call as a monocyte, the monoblastocyte, the lymphoblast, the erythroblast. So these are the cells that are at the blast stage. After this blast stage, these cells are converted into the sites that we call as the monocyte, the lymphocyte, the erythrocytes. Then these sites are again going to convert into the mature cell that they are also called as the sites or the RBCs, the WBCs, the lympho lymphocytes, the B lymphocytes, the T lymphocytes, these are ultimately the mature cells. So they start from the precursor that is the stem cell, this is the precursor of the cell that will ultimately develop into a mature cell by the series of this cell lineage. Now coming to the different type of the cell lineage, starting from the pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell. This stem cell that is present in the bone marrow is going to convert first in the colony forming unit that is a colony of different cell present in the spleen because we have discussed in the production of the rbcs or the other cell that take place in the spleen at the time of the third trimester of pregnancy so from the spleen this colony forming units of the cells divide into two parts it can be colony forming units of the blast cells that convert into a colony forming unit of the erythrocytes these blast cells are precursors of the erythrocyte that are ultimately developed into the mature erythrocyte that is the rbc well that of the another is the granulocyte monocyte unit that also come from the colony forming stimulating unit spleen from this cfu as this CFU GM that is a granulocyte monocyte unit is arises and then it converts into a granulocytes or the monocytes. The granulocyte can be divided into neutrophil, eosinophil, basophils. These are the different type of the WBCs that we are going to discuss in a separate video. Or it can develop into a monocyte. This monocyte is going to convert into a macrophage that is a mature cell that develops from the precursor of the colony forming stimulating unit, granulocyte or the monocyte. These are the mature cells that develop from the blast cells and ultimately from the pluripotent hemopoietic stem cells. The other, the third type of the stimulating unit that we found from the colony forming stimulating unit spleen is the CFUM that is the colony forming unit megacardiocytes. These are the large cells and they have developed into a megacardiocytes that will going to develop into the platelets that is a mature cell. So these are the three divisions that started their production as a pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell and they end into erythrocyte. WBCs or in the platelets. Then some of the pluripotent hemopoietic stem cells go and store in the bone marrow for the further division at the time of need. The other pathway of the cell lineage we have discussed is the lymphocytic cell. There is a lymphoid stem cell. From the lymphoid stem cell, there are two cells that arise that can be a T lymphocyte or that can be a B lymphocyte that will ultimately go to the formation of mature cells.
अब दिस सेल लीनेज रिक्वायर्ड सम ऑफ द ग्रोथ एंड द डिफ्रेंसिएशन इंड्यूसर्स दैट आर ऑफ टू टाइप द ग्रोथ इंड्यूसर्स इंड्यूसेस द ग्रोथ ऑफ अ डिफरेंट प्यूर पार्टन हीमोपैथिक स्टेम सेल्स दैट इंक्लूड द इंटरल्यूकिन थ्री दैट इज अ ग्रोथ इंड्यूसर फॉर सर्टेन टाइप ऑफ द सेल्स एंड इट कैन कॉज द ग्रोथ ऑफ अ प्यूर पार्टन हीमोपैथिक स्टेम सेल फ्रॉम द बोन मेरो दैट कॉज टू इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द मिच्योर सेल्स इन द ब्लड the other is the differentiation inducer that not cause the growth that only cause the differentiation of the growth uh, differentiation of the growing cell into a particular cell group that if the growing cell is any blastocyst it will going to convert this blastocyst into a erythrocyte into a wbc or into a platelet so these differentiation inducers are ultimately commonly called as the differentiation inducer factors that is the dif and they are very much responsible for the differentiation of certain type of the cells so after the genesis of the different group of the cell these are the some mature cell that develop after the genesis of the blood cell and they include the erythrocyte the monocytes the macrocytes the megakaryocytes or the platelets and the two type of the lymphocytes so this was the general explanation and the diagrammatic view of how the pluripotent hemopathic stem cells converted into different cells thank you for watching